Hello, and thank you very much for purchasing the Financial um, Professional Starter Pack. I'm so happy to have you a part of what we're doing here, creating templates and and content for, for financial professionals. My intent is to make your life a little bit easier as you build out your business and try and draw in and share information with clients. So let me just show you a little bit about this starter pack and how to get started with it. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Can tell I haven't done this in a while. I'm a bit rusty. All right. So when you download your template starter pack, it's going to look like this. You're going to have a PDF and you can just scroll down through it, read this information about myself and the business and what I'm doing, and then a little tidbit about instructions. And that's where you should have found this video. First thing you're gonna see is social media templates. So if you haven't used Canva templates before, all you're gonna to need to do is click on this, any of the links, there's three links there, and this is the first one. Once you see a screen like this, it means you are now moving into Canva. If you've already um, purchased Pro, or if you've just set up a free account, then it should, if you've been logged in recently, just go right to your Canva. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you use template. It will take you into your Canva. And then once you're here, it, you can start editing immediately. But I do recommend that you go up to file first, make a copy. This way you will be working on your copy instead of the original template I gave you. And you'll always have the original to go back to if you made a change you don't want to or you want to start fresh from what was given to you. You can always go back there. So you can go up here if you'd like to change the title. Um, to whatever makes sense for you. And then in order to change your branding, all you have to do is click on the things you wanna change. So if you wanna change the green colors, which are my branding colors, you would just go on here, click the item you wanna work with. And right now I'm working with the text and go up to color at the top. You can pick any color that's already in the template here, or you can scroll down. And as you see, I have entered my own brand kit. I haven't named this one, but I have several palettes. I have a palette for my sister company, Fab Life now, and then I have alternates. And I also have Financial Professionals Hub here. These are the colors I've used in the template. You can set yours up through the brand hub if you'd like, and that is super convenient. Um, then you have the exact same colors for your brand at hand for everything you're creating for your business. So that is only on the pro side of Canva. It's worth it to me. One of the features that is very nice to have. So if you have that available to you, set it up. Otherwise, what I did before while I was using Canva for free for a long time is I just had a Word document or a Google sheet where I would open it up and I kept all the codes. If you see, I'll hover over one of my, my colors here. And if I have, let's see if I can get it to hover, hover over it, it will show the code the RGB code for that color. Copy that code. That's how you can translate that color from document to document or from system to system. Like whether you're on Canva or another um, another app, it will help you to get be consistent with that branding color. So I just kept my colors, my palette on a list in Google or Word. And every time I was trying to add my branding color to something, I would pull up that and copy and paste the codes so they were exact. So you can do that too if you don't have this brand palette at your fingertips. So for this one, if I wanted to change this to blue, I would go like this. Well, I would first highlight it and then I would go like this. And then that would change those words to a new color. The nice feature in Canva, it's the bottom. This will pop up, change all dark green to this light blue. So if you're trying to be brand consistent, you can click that and it will then make it apply across the, 
there's one <laughs> there's one more blue down there so that that shade was not on very many of the templates but if we did this darker green so if i cover um hover over this um image i can change this green and say let's make it pink and then down here change all to pink click on that and you'll see that that was applied on many of these so your branding colors would just be applied immediately so sometimes it doesn't um carry through to all the text for some reason but it does a pretty good job of going throughout the items that are on this open document um, the other things you will want to edit are where it says at, it either will say at really great site or it'll say financial professional hub. Um, you would want to highlight over that and add your own either website. You can, some people put www. or just um, fablifenow.com is what I would use for my other business. Um, or you can do at fablifenow. So at is what they input as you probably know into the social media site so into instagram to find you um, and so that leads anyone who shares it ever or anything like that it would lead anyone back to you your original um, post by doing that so you want to go through all of them and change that change the coloring if you want to change the text go for it some people have a real strict branding text um, I do change some of my texts um, from time to time and um, use just something simple or something that looks good and keep the coloring consistent colors consistent um, and have a you know a a larger arsenal kind of of text if you will so change as much or as little of that as you would like and then you um can write from canva the beauty of it when you go we can either download it onto your computer so hit share and that will be both to download and to share on social so you can download to your computer here or you can go and connect your social media right here and share on social direct from canva which is nice too so a number of ways you can do that all right let's go back to the financial professional um if I can find the right screen. All right, so what happened is it, it didn't open it in a new screen. So I forget about that. So I'm gonna have to go backwards. If I did it again, what I'm gonna do this next time is I'm going to go ahead and um, click open in a new screen, the next link, so that I don't lose that again. Because I forgot that's what was going to happen. So you can do that with all these social media templates. They're each a separate file. And then you'll have freebie download templates. These are all in Canva as well. There's three different ones. So they all work the same way as that first. And then all your forms are in on this last page, client forms template. There are some Excel and some PDF and some um, Word documents. So they're all housed in a Google Drive. So click on this link. It will take you to this Google Drive file. You can open up that file and you'll see all the documents here. Now, as you can see, they were uploaded as Word and Excel. They do translate to Google, as you'll see. So here's just the first one, a quick client survey. It's a quick survey that you can email to your clients or you can copy and paste it into any type of an app that you want, um, an email, or you can attach it as a document. Um, these are great to copy and paste into a Google's form because it will collect all the data for you and tell you the totals as well as each individual um, response too. So this is this would be perfect to create into a Google form, which is free way to reach out to your clients. Um, want to 
update your logo right here. If you don't have a logo created, I do encourage you to simply come up with something that could go here and it could just be your name or you could put your website in a nice font, um, how to find you, okay? Um, otherwise, maybe one um, small image that you're just gonna use until you create an actual business logo, something that just unifies your documents that you're giving out to your clients. So you can click on this and right click and do replace image, upload it from your computer or wherever to get your logo there. However, what I've found when I do this is it crops it the same way that it's cropped on here already. So I would really just backspace, delete that. And then, and then um, I will go to insert up here, insert an image and upload it from my computer or from my drive and upload my own. And then you can, once it's on here, like I had a lot of white space around this one when it was created. So you can also do crop image and it'll allow you to crop out the white space to fit in the space in your document a little bit better. So fix um, that. On these, I would leave this for the clients because it says highlight over the green text with your cursor and start typing to add your answers. So anyone you send it to can do that. And then they can unhighlight it or leave it highlighted to send it back to you. It doesn't really matter. Let's do name. So you can see that they have those to do. You don't need to edit that. If you want to change it from green to a different brand color, you could change the highlight. I did highlight any text in green that I thought you should change. So be aware of that. It will help you to find the things to update to your own information. Here's the email address. Here's a contact by date that you'd want to update to a current date. And then this is in the um, footer. So you would just need to click into the footer to edit that. You can change the color and the information in the footer for that document. And let me show you another one here is uh, an Excel. So again, these are just showing in, um, in Google right now. It's translating to Google. So it looks okay. It is a little bit better um, format if you do download it to the actual um, system I created it in, which for this one is Excel. So this is, you can see at the bottom, there's tabs for this budget templates, one of my very favorite templates to use. And as you can see, you can see there's the um, logo spot there again. And in this one, I didn't, I don't do brand colors per se. I let each tab be a separate bright color. And that's just the way I like it because it just separates out each part of the spending plan for the client. But if you wanna change any of these, you can change them here just by highlighting and it's gonna be this fill color. And you can make them more brand specific or to any colors you prefer if you don't want these bright colors. Um, then if you do want to download it, so you will have to either make a copy or download before you can do those edits. I forgot to say that at the beginning, but make a copy and that will then put it in your own Google Drive or you download it into Excel. It will ask you where to put it and then you will have that document for yourself. Um, Start has the information here for them, how to use the, the um, Excel sheet. And there are some places where there's a logo. So look through them and fix the logo and any colors you might like to change for your own personal branding. There's several different things on here as well as both the bonuses and bonuses are more for your use um, in rather than um, so these are project planning sheets so you can print them and um, work on your own projects for your business is what these are. And I think that's pretty much it. It's just a few quick things 
there, if you notice, there's two different net worth guides. This one is a worksheet. It's just a one, one sheet. Excuse the slowness of my computer. I'm running off of a hotspot today. So this is just a worksheet that will show their net worth instructions in the worksheet. And then there is also a workbook included as well. It's more of a calculator and it has multiple tabs. As you can see, it totals it up onto the dashboard and has assets and liabilities. Now this one's a little bit more complex. You can highlight over anything on the Excel sheets and um, change out the names. So you can change the category on any of them. You can also go in and add extra, you can do an insert and insert another line um, to add another category. However, just be wary, some of this, um, Tim, the formatting might get funky if you change too much with that. So this one, if you don't have enough categories and whatnot and are not good with Excel, you may not want to mess too much with it because it could affect the, the way it looks overall or the way it works overall. So check that before you start editing a whole bunch and maybe do the make a copy and before you start editing so you always have an original. For this one, um, you can also change all the colors out that you want to. And you can do them one by one on each sheet, but on Excel, and I don't know if this one does too, it has a theme color under format and theme, and you can actually change the whole theme here. And if you wanna make, so you can just pick one if you want one that's close to your branding and it will change all the colors across the workbook, or you can go customize and add in your own colors here from your brand using those codes. So you have the exact brand colors and you can do that either here on Google or in um, if you download it in Excel. If you do have any questions, please feel free to reach out, email us at, um, just direct at allison at fablifenow.com. I'm still using my sister um, business communication for this one as I get started. And if you have any templates you'd like to see, or you want to see more um, social media, or you'd like to see some more reels, or you want to see um, an ebook on a certain topic, then reach out because I'm going to be creating constantly. And if you put in a request, it'll probably be one of the first ones that are coming out. And I'll let you know as new things arrive. If you also, if you have any issues with your downloads, please reach out more to do support at fablifenow.com. I will notice it sooner. I don't check my other email as quick, but support, I keep my eye on closely because I know those that's the ones that um, people need help. So I do check that quickly. Um, if you do enjoy this, please let me know as well. I'd love to hear your feedback and have a great day as I tell my my financial clients have a fabulous day.